A good question. This is a equation given and you have to find out the x and y value. Mm, yes, you have to find the x and y value. Of course, in the your IUQM, they may must ask you something like x plus y, but here it's a simply given. But they will ask in such a way that your answer should be in the two digit answer. To solve the equation for positive integers x and y, remember this is a single equation. Every single equation, if it's more than one variable, so it will be infinite number of solutions. But we can make it restricted, some restriction we can make it and then we can get the finite answer. For example, in this case, in this case restriction is what? They are positive integer. So using this restriction, we can do something. For example, if anybody asking you x plus y equal to 3, find out solution. So will be infinite number of solution in there. But if I say find out integral solution, then also infinite number of solution. Why so? Because this can be 4, this can be minus 1, this can be 7, this can be minus 4. So many variations. But if I say find out the positive integral solution, then it's limited. Then finite. Only on hand we can calculate. Okay, this can be 1 and this can be 2. Or this can be 2, this can be 1. No other possibility because 0, 3 you cannot take it because positive integral solution set and any fraction cannot be happen. So, there are the only two solution. So, we will say that ki, there will be only two solution. So, that is what basic idea about the any equation which contains more than one variable, there will be some kind of restriction and that restriction you have to identify and use those restrictions to get the things done. Now. For this question, what are restrictions I can, what I can feel it, ki there is the, this is the cubic equation. This is cubic equation. So, the, if this is the cubic equation, I can think what is this. Achha. What are they, because everything is an integer. X plus one whole cube will be how much? X cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. Okay. Hmm. And x plus 2 whole cube will be how much? x cube plus 6x square plus uh, 6x square plus 12x plus 8 and x plus 3 whole cube will be what? x cube plus your 9x square plus 27x plus 27, something like this. I hope I did calculation correct, right? What I am trying to do here y cube, here also I want to write something cube so that I can apply a cube minus b cube formula. It will become easy for me. Okay. y cube equal to, can I write this one x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. And I want to make maintain same. So, x cube I already use. 8x square is there. So, plus 5x square. Minus 6x is there. And plus 3x I added here. So, minus 3. Minus 9x. Plus 1 to plus 7. Okay. And now, both are same. Both are same thing. These two. These two are exactly same. Am I right? So, now become cubic. So, we got y cube minus because this is what x plus 1 whole cube the x plus 1 whole cube is equal to 5x square minus 9x plus 7 oh, oh means we cannot solve but one idea i got it what idea any quadratic will be always positive if a is greater than 0 and discriminant less than 0. 
look this quality a is positive discriminant will be what 9 square means 81 minus 4 ac 20 into 7 20 into 7 so that will be 140 it's a negative discriminant negative a positive to this quantity 100 percent greater than zero if it's greater than zero so i can say very clearly ki y q is greater than x plus 1 whole q Anyway, this side is positive to so this side will be positive this will be positive only when this is bigger than this number means we can say y will be greater than x plus 1 one restriction i got it ki y is bigger than x plus 1 y is also integer x is also integer one of the restriction is ready now x plus 2 if i will do then x square left i want something smaller right y cube again i'm writing to y cube i can write x cube plus 9 x square plus everything negative i want to make so if i'll take this one to still positive will be there negative i want to make the so plus 27 x plus 27 this i just copy now x cube i already use a 9 x square but 8 x square was there to so minus x square i have to write and 27 x i was having minus 6 x to so plus thir minus 33 x i have to write because wait, i cannot change the question no? this only i am splitting in two parts 27 is there 8 is there so it means minus 19 i will do i hope everybody able to understand this is nothing but x plus 3 whole cube so we got y cube minus x plus 3 whole cube is equal to minus x square minus 33 x minus 19 watch very very carefully everybody we are solving question for what for positive integral x means x is x and y both are positive so if a, this is the post negative quantity because x square is positive x is positive this is also negative this total will be negative always why anyway everything is positive no? x square positive to minus x square negative x positive to minus 33 x negative minus 19 anyhow negative so it means this quantity is less than zero this quantity is negative this will be negative only when this y cube is less than x plus 3 whole cube that means y less than x plus 3 y is less than x plus 3 are you able to understand y is less than x plus 3 that means this is the first condition this is the second condition try to combine first these two conditions so y is greater than x plus 1 and less than x plus 3 think carefully x plus 1 is integer x plus 3 is also integer if you think carefully x plus 1 is one integer next integer will be what x plus 2 next integer x plus 3 one integer these are the consecutive integers are not one integer lying between these two so what is that integer 100 percent this it means y surely will be equal to x plus 2 your question done we convert in single variable now so y is x plus 2 so in our original question we'll put y as a x plus 2 so you'll get what x plus 2 whole cube equal to x cube plus 8x square x cube plus 8x square minus 6x plus 8 minus 6x plus 8 expand you'll get x cube plus <coughs> 6x square uh, correct yeah plus this square into 3 12x plus 8 equal to x cube plus 8x square minus 6x plus 8 whatever cancel cancel it x cube 8 cancel and other things shift one side you will get 2x square this gone this gone minus 18x this gone this gone yeah equal to 0 2x common you will get x minus 9 equal to 0 so from here x equal to 0 or x equal to 9 this is rejected because x is positive integer it cannot be 0 also so only solution x equal to 9 if x equal to 9 then y will be equal to 9, uh, 9 plus 2 according to this relation so y equal to 11 the so final answer will be what 
x equal to 9 and y equal to 11. This is the only solution of this equation. Positive integral solution. I am sure all of you understood. This is the one way of if two variable is given an integer to try to get one variable range like this and then you will get an idea. So this is the one of type of the different type of DPP solving means what? We are just trying to see different kind of questions so that key different ideas you will having for when you are going to attempt the question. Right? So thank you very much and see you in the next question.